Okay, hello. Um, I'm going to be playing this uh, Walking Dead, a Telltale series. I think that's what it's called. Uh, season 1. I've played this before, but it's just, uh, I just want to see how it does on streaming, I guess. So, I know it's an old game, you know, but, you know, still, I just want to do this because, um, the new, The Walking Dead season finale, or I'll say, all the whole finale, I guess, is gonna, no more Walking Dead after this, uh, season 11, I guess, so, and I like the Walking Dead series, so it's, it's unfortunate they have to end it, you know, but, you know, all good things come to an end, they say, <laughs> so, yeah, I'll see how the stream goes, and then, uh, I'll go from there, I guess, but, uh, it's, it's something I, I like, so, I've played this before, like I said, so it's pretty good. I liked it. it. I got late into this, you know, after after it was out already been for like a few years. I finally played this. I think it was like on Game Pass or Xbox uh, Gold, Xbox Live Gold. But I had. Uh, I beat it, all of them, all the season one, two, the one with the, the other one, and then the, uh, the continuing story, and then the one I haven't played is the final season though, that's the only one. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the... I didn't do it. Not for me. Because guys in your position already said it enough. I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy. You're from Macon, then? Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. Always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. A real shame, that is. Hell, the whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. This seems like it just when you up at UGA. You teach just when the, Going on six years. the zombie outbreak happened too, so it's happen? it's it's pretty good. They have like a whole you wanna know how different storyline. It's pretty good. Sure. Regardless. Could be you just married the wrong woman. <sighs> oh, 
Adams. Any of that seem important to you? All of it, but that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're All sitting. officers are available for incoming to one. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's got to stop. That's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Damn. Man? Not even close. They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Now, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. Oh, shit. This other time. <laughs> I'm playing on the Series S, and I don't know if the load time will make a difference. I don't know um, what kind of viewers I'll have, like is it their first time playing this or did they play this and they just, you know, want to know what I have to say about it, you know, and stuff. I like it, you know, they uh, made this into uh, all the way through to the Batman series. I think this one's the main one that I played. Where the hell did he have his gun out? Maybe it was tossed from the car during the wreck. I need to drag myself out that window. Easier to carry with these cuffs off. Like I said I've played this already, so I know what to do. I know the whole story to it, so. Officer? God damn. Officer?
officer. Holy shit! Get away from me! Oh, it's to my left side, yeah. I think I saw this that they were gonna make this into like a whole. They were gonna remaster it in HD or something like that, and then uh, make it into a collection. I don't know if they're ready. Help! Go get someone! There's been a shooting! So I'll probably play like uh, 30 minutes of this and then see how it goes. But to me, I think this is uh, since this is like a real big hit, story-wise, where it's interactive. That's how they made um, as Desk Falls, which is on Game Pass, and then also they have the other one, the Quarry. I played both, but I. I think I prefer the quarry because I played the demo to that and it looks more uh, it just looks better because it has like video interactive video on it quarry it just shows like cutscenes or it's not really it's not really Hello. like uh, like you're Anybody? watching a movie or like it's Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Ah. Hello? I'm not an intruder. I'm one of them. Thank you. 
Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message three, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. You need to be quiet. Who is this? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. You're not my daddy. No, I'm not. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Did you kill it? I think something else did. Before me, I think. I heard her scream two nights ago. Maybe one of the monsters got her. Two nights ago? Yeah, that's probably what happened. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while. You know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me.
ever getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. Let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. I thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. We need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Just some guy. Some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... The monster's come out. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Just some guy? Seems like you saved a bunch of lives today. Hey, Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. We just need a little help. We won't stay long. Good. You're welcome to stay here, but just for the night. I don't run a bed and breakfast. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? 
It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? I, I fell, trying to get away from one of those things. That's so. What type of danger has the girl seen? Who knows? She had a few lonely days with nothing but the dead keeping her company. I still just can't imagine it. Consider yourself lucky. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. To me, I think they didn't really like give you enough time to read all the directional. <laughs> so it's like you have to decide real quick. I can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking. I think first thing there's tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the really no, like. No choices that you make that will really make the game any different. What you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I saw a cop come back from the dead. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. It smells like... Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. I miss my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Hey, get up. Mm. Oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable trait lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and... Personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? 
Cool. Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Okay, well, I think this is going to be it for me. Appreciate you guys watching. Uh, I know I didn't really say much, but I don't know. I don't know if there's really anything to say. This is really like an old game, and I'm sure everybody's played it. <laughs> and it's not for the faint-hearted. No. So... Alrighty, well. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world. Thank you guys for watching. Job. And game on. I'll make another one if you know, if it does pretty good. I'll probably be uh, more talkative then. Thank you guys. Game on.